Sandy and Neil, Starpoint Properties. You got the presentation deck up there. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, you have the stage for 10 minutes. Go for Great. it. Jimmy, thanks. And uh, thanks for everyone uh, who's you know, able to attend today. It's a pleasure to be able to present to you all. Uh, my name is Neil Sherlock. I am the Vice President of Capital Markets for Starpoint Properties. Uh, and we have a fairly limited time to present. So our two primary objectives for this call are, number one, I wanna introduce everybody to Starpoint, uh, our history track record and what makes us a great partner. And second, I wanna discuss the uh, current QOZ opportunities for which we're uh, now accepting commitments. And the second part will be heavily focused on our assets. And uh, at that point, I'll hand it over to Sandy, who's our SVP of acquisitions and development. So Starpoint was originally founded over 25 years ago, uh, we've completed over uh, 1.5 billion in real estate transaction volume uh, over that time. And we've been very successful in doing so, having delivered uh, returns to investors of approximately 25% per annum since inception. Uh, and obviously not surprisingly, uh, we've had an extremely high rate of reinvestment from our LPs as a result. Uh, we've done deals with some large institutional investors, including Goldman Sachs and KeyBank, uh, but we also have our retail investor base uh, with whom we've done dozens of deals with over the, uh, over the years. The firm started as a small family office and has grown significantly and we're now really vertically integrated uh, with acquisitions development, property management and investment management capabilities and expertise. Our current portfolio consists of 30 properties, primarily multifamily and commercial uh, and is worth slightly north of a billion dollars in terms of market value. And operationally, we currently employ over 60 real estate professionals. We're led by uh, Paul Donishrod, who's the company's founder and CEO, and has obviously been instrumental in driving the company's growth over the past 25 years. Uh, but in addition to Paul, you know, we have a very strong senior management team that has decades of experience. Uh, many have come from other large, recognizable and reputable real estate firms. Um, Starpoint has you know, really established itself uh, as an efficient machine in sourcing, closing and managing assets. Uh, and consistently delivering above market returns to our investor base. Uh, and this is a function of a few things. Uh, first, you know, we're incredibly disciplined uh, with our acquisition strategy. We take a long-term perspective and uh, evaluate the individual merits of each asset, uh, sector trends, market dynamics, and the broader uh, macroeconomic environment. We have our own proprietary systems and underwriting processes that are designed to minimize risk and identify only top-tier investment opportunities. Uh, and lastly, we have a uh, very deep network for sourcing deals. Uh, we have access to on and off market deals, we have first looks, last looks. Um, in, in fact, to illustrate that point, we've actually evaluated over $3 billion worth of QOZ opportunities over the last 18 months alone. Um, so <laughs> obviously no shortage of uh, potential opportunities for us. Uh, bottom line is everything we do here is designed to acquire great real estate uh, and real estate that we believe in. And we prove that by investing alongside our investors in each deal. And this is something that we continue to do with our QOZ projects that we have. So I'll skip over the QOZ details since I think at this point, uh, everybody is very familiar with them. Um, so uh, you know, I'll introduce our, our funds. So we launched our QOZ funds to grant investors an opportunity to take advantage of the tax benefits offered by the program. Uh, and to do so with a highly experienced and fully integrated team that has a terrific track record. We utilize a built core strategy with a focus on developing multifamily and industrial properties, which have been some of the best performing uh, you know, classes in, in real estate and are expected to continue to be some of the top performing over the next couple of years. Uh, and we invest in some of the most attractive and sought after markets in the US. Um, you know, for us though, the, the OZ designation is just a kicker. First and foremost, we focus on the merits of the real estate. Uh, our typical deal size is approximately 25 to 75 million in total capitalization. And we are targeting for our current projects that Sandy will go over here momentarily, uh, total equity raise of approximately $100 million. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Sandy who is Starpoint's SVP of acquisitions and development. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Neil. And Jimmy, great to see you again. Uh, good to connect here uh, on, on this on the presentation. Uh, so let's, let's go to the next slide, uh, if you could, Neil. And uh, I guess this is our, our this is our footprint in terms of the the seed assets uh, that that we've got identified. We either own these or uh, we have them under contract. Uh, if if we keep going, next slide, um, and we'll, we'll we'll keep going here. I mean, this is a little bit about the uh, the the acquisition criteria. The basic criteria being uh, high growth 
markets in, in the Western US uh, where we're building multifamily or industrial uh, projects where, where we think there's substantial demand uh, from, the, from the tenant side and enduring demand. Uh, the, the projects here are presented in order of construction start date. So we'll, we'll start with the projects that are nearest to the construction start and then, and then flow from, from there. Uh, so Dobson Station in Mesa, this one is a Q, early Q1 2022 construction start. And we, we love this project because you know, we're, we're in fill location with a four-story garden style product. It's a, it's a simpler design typology. It's all on grade. It's, it's quick. In, ter it, in terms of building it and getting the first units open and start to getting into that, that cash flow, uh, getting into operations. And we're in a great location. We're across the street from light rail. Uh, we're next door to a grocery anchored center. Uh, there's restaurants, there's neighborhood serving retail. And you know, within uh, three stops uh, on the light rail, you're in downtown Tempe. But you, this is a you know substantial discount on the rents to downtown Tempe rents. So we think we can appeal to a pretty wide range of of renter households who you know by the way they they're, they're spending fifteen to twenty percent of their income on on housing, and that means that there's a lot of ability for for rent growth here. And the the big stories for two thousand. 21 is, you know, one, right, reemergence of the economy uh, from the COVID lockdown. That, that was, that's been huge, right? And then two, in our real estate world, uh, construction costs, we've, we've been feeling that like, like crazy, uh, right? Along with all the supply chain uh, backups that we've, we've seen, right? Everything, um, you know, you, you can't get everything's, you know, out of stock on back order and, and uh, you know, would it, Wood and metal commodities are pricing through the roof. This is one of the few places where uh, rent growth has actually exceeded construction cost growth. So we, we think there's a compelling story here with, with this location. Let's keep going, Neil. Uh, this one, another great location for very different reasons. We're in Southern California, uh, coastal uh, in downtown Long Beach. So. It's very walkable, very vibrant downtown, and we're on 7th Street, so for those commuters, you shoot out 7th Street onto the 710 freeway, and you get north to LA, you go south to Orange County, and that's, that's the reason that people love living in Long Beach is you're on the water, and you're in between, you're in between LA, you're in between uh, LA and Orange County, easy to get to both, and you've got this great vibrant downtown. Our project uh, is grandfathered in, so none of our units are deed restricted. They're all fully market rate. All the projects following us will end up having a portion of their units uh, deed restricted, and, and this is this is all market rate. Um, Neil, let's go uh, next one. If I'm going back in the city of Mesa, Germain and Haas, this is an industrial development. We're just south of the Mesa Gateway Airport. There's a lot of freight that moves in and out of that airport. And we're just across the street from the Sky Bridge. The Sky Bridge is a customs clearinghouse for goods moving between the US and Mexico. So if, if your business is, is, is being in part of that supply chain and part of that trade, this is a great location. It's also a great location being in the Southeast Valley uh, where you've got access to a lot of high income households uh, and into for anybody who's a national uh, distributor, uh, a regional a business in need of warehousing space or, or local manufacturing, you know, we have space that will meet your requirements. We went through 13 different site plans on this one to come up with a solution that really can accommodate the widest uh, array of, of, of tenant requirements here. So, so our biggest building, it's 150,000 square feet, 200 foot deep, uh, 32 foot clear height. Uh, it's subdivisible, so it could go multi-tenant or single tenant. And then our smallest building is 40,000 square feet with a 24 foot clear height. So that you know that would be a great single single tenant uh, manufacturing type tenant there. So 
we, we think that we're, we're bringing to market product that it is, can accommodate a very wide range of users in a very hot market. We've been doing our sales comps research here and we are building well below replacement cost. Uh, next one, Neil. And you guys do have about, uh, about, about one or two more minutes left. Okay, th th I'll, I'll be quick. Uh, th this, this, one's, this one's further back in the pipeline, late Q2, early Q3 construction start, um, suburban Salt Lake, uh, the, the, the demographics are fantastic. Uh, and the, the rent growth here has been really strong. Uh, the job growth in, in the Silicon Slopes or downtown Salt Lake, that's fantastic too. Neil, let's, let's keep going on the next one. And this one is closed. Uh, this one is scheduled to start in December. And we, we think it's, it's representative of the kinds of returns that we are targeting with all of our projects. So I, I think it's it's a good one to share uh, to share with with all the audience, and um, and, and I think that, that you know that's it on the on the pipeline deals right now. We're still working on more and, and building more. Uh, Neil, do, do you have uh, you know cl closing statements? I guess we got our minute. Yeah, uh, you know we're we're pretty excited about uh, you know all the assets that we have right now, uh, both the owned ones, the ones that we have in the pipeline. Uh, as well as some of the uh, other uh, opportunities that we're currently evaluating. Uh, we've had a ton of interest. Obviously, we closed out San Bernardino, uh, the industrial asset that Sandy just addressed. Uh, and we've had uh, you know, a lot of strong interest in the other assets uh, that we're currently raising for as well. Um, so we believe in the real estate, uh, big pipeline, uh, and you know, we believe in our ability to execute. And the last thing uh, you know, that we really wanna focus on here is you know, we align our interests uh, alongside our investors. Uh, we generally hold uh, the land on our, our balance sheet until it's fully entitled, uh, which is another added benefit to de-risk the projects uh, materially. Uh, we try and be as transparent as possible with all of our reporting, having partnered with Juniper Square. Uh, and then lastly, you know, we this is not our, our first rodeo. We've done this time and again, and we expect to continue to be able to execute. Sorry, Jimmy, if we went a little bit over there. No, fantastic. That's all right. Where can uh, our viewers go to learn more about you and Starpoint Properties? Yeah, so you can uh, either reach out to, to me uh, directly. Um, I, I can be reached either uh, at our general you know, IR inbox here uh, or at Neil, N-E-I-L-S at starpointproperties.com. Or alternatively, uh, you know, please feel free to visit our website, which is starpointproperties.com. Fantastic. Uh, one quick question from Charles. He wants to know, do you have uh, GMP contracts, guaranteed maximum payment contracts, very important this day and age with the rise of uh, materials costs. Uh, do you have those contracts in place for the properties that are already there? So, so what we have are selected GCs on these who are going through a design assist process with us uh, under our pre-con agreement, and we will get to a GMP. Uh, but, but right, right now, it's it's a pre-con process, and and happy to explain more about that in, in you know, with, with Charles at, at at any time. Yeah. So, Charles, if you could, if you want to learn more about that. Um, email them at the address there on the screen. Uh, gentlemen, I'm going to cut you loose. Sandy and Neil, thank you so Great. much for yeah. awesome. Starpoint thank Properties. Uh, really good job, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you.